Okay, I'm gonna make a short video on how to do inset maps in ArcGIS Pro. And what I've got here is our map from Arcata Forest with a standard hill shade. Now the hill shade is um, stretched from 0 to 255, so you can see it's got all the way from black to white. And that's gonna be really hard to keep things standing out, even though I've picked fairly strong colors for my roads and streams. Um, you know, some places when it gets dark, the border gets lost. Um, in here, the background is about the same color as the road, so they start getting lost. What we really want to do is we want to make our background be lighter so it has more contrast with the features we're trying to highlight. And you always want to have high uh, contrast. Either your background needs to be light and the things on top of it be dark or vice versa. Um, so what you can do is go to Symbology for your hill shade and then go ahead and this is a, a little bit uh, strange and new um, how we need to do this in ArcGIS Pro but we can now do it so here's our color ramp all right and so this is going from completely white to completely black well what we can do um, is we can change this color to just go from white to gray and now we're gonna have a lighter background um, similarly we can Click here, and we can have it go from solid black to a mid gray. Okay, so that would give us a really dark background if we wanted to then have really bright um, colors for our key information. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back to white to mid gray. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, now we need an inset map. And uh, what we need to do is go to insert, and then we insert another map frame. And we just insert the same map frame just like we did originally, draw a box for it, and it's going to draw it in here. Now, one of the things we need to do is notice that there's now two map frames. So there's this one, and there's this one. Okay, and as we click on them, you can see which one is selected but we need to activate our inset map so that we can zoom in and let's say I want to show a higher level of detail around these research sites up here and then to get out of this is different I keep going over here to try and deactivate it but that would be too consistent instead you just hit this back arrow and that brings us back out again okay now what we're missing is the indication of where that is here Okay, and we can do that by clicking back on our main frame, going up here to Extent Indicator, Map Frame, and there's our map frame. Now, not a great style for it, but that's okay. You can always right click, Properties. Um, notice there's a, a bunch of things here, but this is the one we want, the first one. Um, I tend to do red a lot, but <laughs> it's not really a good thing to do for publication. Uh, but it really stands out. Um, yellow is a little more popular, so uh, maybe a darker yellow on this. Mm. That doesn't look very good to me. Uh, let's try a more pastel one. And let's just make it a little bit larger. There we go. Okay, so I think that stands out. Now, the only thing that's really missing is sometimes you might want to have lines drawn um, between the two. And you can do that by going over here and do add leader. Um, that doesn't really help me a lot. I'm not very excited about it. Um, I can go over here, make it bolder. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I might go ahead and just draw something in. That would be the other way to do it. And you can just go up here, pick line. And then you can go ahead and drag the, the lines you may have seen before on some maps. And you could get more fancy from there. And over here, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that leader. So, different things you can do to tie those together. Oops. I just realized that that's actually not... Where I want it to be. I want that to go there. There we go. So, yeah, I think that works. Have fun.